In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can use quick effects and layer effects to create this wax seal effect using Affinity Designer. And if you want to learn more about how Affinity Designer works, be sure to check out my Affinity Designer Masterclass. It's a collection of over 80 videos where we go over all of the tools and features in Affinity Designer, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work, kind of like how I'll do in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you need it. And I will put some information about that down below if you want to check that out. So now that that's out of the way, let's get started. I'm going to create a new document and I'm going to size my document at 1280 by 1280. And if I come over here into the color tab, I want to make sure I'm using wide gamut RGB for this effect that we're going to create. So I'll click the create button and now we have our canvas. So I'll turn on my snapping and I'm going to grab the circle tool and I'm going to snap the cursor to the center of the page. And I'm going to hold Command and Shift or Control and Shift if, or, uh, if you're on Windows and click and drag to create a circle about that size. And then I will go to Layer and choose Convert to Curves. And I'm going to make this a dark shade of red. So I'll come over here to my color picker and I will choose a shade of red. Something right about there looks pretty good. And if you grab your nodes tool, you'll notice this circle has four nodes in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click to add new nodes between each of these four nodes. And I want to add two nodes between each of them. So let me first turn off snapping and I'm just going to click on the edge of the path right there. And that's going to add a new node and I'll do the same thing over here. So I just added two between the two main ones right here. And I'll just go through the rest of this area and add in two nodes to each of these quadrants. And now I'm just going to take one of these nodes and pull them out like that. And then I'll take this node next to it and bring it in. And I'll take this node and pull it out. And I'll take this one and bring it in. And you get the idea. The, uh, the thing we're trying to do here is create the outer edge of the wax seal to try to make it look natural and whimsical. So don't worry about it being even or anything like that. So just go through and move these around a bit. And I'll do the same thing out here. And then I'll bring this one in. And once we do that, I'm going to click on these outer nodes and I'm just going to pull these handles a bit just to make them a little more rounded, to make them look a little more fluid. And I'll do the same thing over here. I'll pull this one out a bit. And then I'll take this one. I'll pull these handles out a bit. And maybe I'll adjust this one a little bit. So I'll just go through here. I'm sure you get the idea. I'm going to go through here and just stretch these handles out a little bit just to make this look a little more fluid and natural. And once that's finished, I'm going to grab the selection tool and let me click off of it to deselect it and zoom out a little bit. I'm going to grab the circle tool again and I want to create another circle in the center of the page. So let me turn my snaps back on and I'll snap to the center of the page, click and drag and then hold control and shift and I'll bring the circle out about about this far. And then what I want to do is let me turn off snapping now. I'm going to go to my selection tool. I'll come over here to the layers menu. And I'm going to right click this circle and go to duplicate. And I'm going to take the bottom circle and then hold shift and click on the curve beneath it. And I want to subtract them by clicking this button up here that says subtract. And now I want to take the original circle and just click and drag this down beneath that shape. And now I want to take this shape and I'm going to come over here to the quick effects tab. And I want to choose the 3D option. Let me collapse these menus so you can get a better look at what we have here. I want to choose the 3D option. And I want to take the radius and bring that out pretty far. I'm going to bring it out about, about that far. And you can see what's happening there. It's giving it a 3D sort of appearance. And now I'm going to grab the ellipse beneath it. And for this one, I'm going to apply an inner shadow. So I'll select inner shadow. I'm going to bring the opacity all the way up. And I'm going to bring the radius all the way up as well. And I'm going to have to make this circle a little bigger because you can see you can see the, a little bit of the white canvas showing through the edges of those two objects there. So I'm going to click on the circle. I'll hold Command and Shift and just scale this out a little bit just to close that gap in there. And there we have the beginning of our wax seal. So now I'm going to create the contents going on the inside. So to do this, I'm just going to take this original circle and let me come back over here to the Layers menu, right click this and go to Duplicate. 
And I'm gonna turn off the layer effects or the quick effects for this one. So we don't want that inner shadow on there. And I'm just gonna scale this down a little bit. I'm gonna hold Command and Shift so that we're scaling it down from the center. And I'm gonna remove the fill color and I'm going to add a white stroke color. And then I'll come into the Stroke tab and bring the size of that up about that far. And I'm just going to make this a little bigger. And once you're happy with how, how that looks, you can convert this to a curve by going to Layer and selecting Expand Stroke. There we go. And now I'm going to put some text going on the inside, wrapped around the inside of this circle here. So let me create another circle. Let me grab this original one. Let me right click it and go to Duplicate. I'll bring this one to the top. And I'll hold Command and Shift and scale this down to about here. And let me turn off the layer effects for this one as well, or the quick effects. And I'm going to scale that down just a little more. I'm going to grab my text tool, and I'm going to place the cursor just on the outer edge of the circle until the cursor turns into a letter T, and then click on it. And using all caps, I'm just going to write, just for this demonstration, Affinity Designer Wax Seal Design. And I'm going to press Command A to select all of it. I'm going to make this text white so we can see it better. And I'm going to take this green triangle right here, which represents the starting point, and I'm going to bring it to the bottom over here. And then I'll take this orange triangle, which is the end point, and I'll move this to the bottom as well. And again, with all this text selected, we want to make sure it's highlighted. And I'm going to center the text so it puts it on the top center of the circle. And now I'm going to change the font to something a little more legible. I'm going to go with Enter. And I will go with the black variety. Or you know what? I applied the white color to the stroke of the text. So let me turn off the stroke. Let me select the fill color of the text and make that white. There we go. And I'm going to make this text larger. So I'll make this about, I'll go with 36. And now I want to place some spacing between these letters. So I'm going to hold my Option key, or that would be your Alt key on Windows, and just press the right arrow key to add some space between those letters like that. And now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna adjust this a little bit. I'm not quite happy with how uneven that is. Okay, that looks a little better. And now I'll just go to layer and select convert to curves. And now that's no longer a text object, it's just a regular rolled vector object. And just for a decorative element, I'm gonna add a star right here in that empty gap. So let me hold a click over my shapes tool and I'm gonna choose the star tool. And I'm just gonna hold shift and click and drag to create a star. I want a white fill with no stroke, so I'll just come over here and reverse this. There we go. And then I'm going to place this right here. And just to make sure that it's centered, I'm going to hold shift and click on the, uh, the circle and open the alignment menu and make sure it's aligned to the center vertically. So now I'm just going to grab the Affinity Designer logo and place it in here. You can use whatever you want. For this demonstration, though, I have this opened in another document. I'm just going to right click this and copy it. And then I'll paste it into here with Command V. Hold Command and Shift and scale that down. And then I'm going to hold Shift and click on the circle beneath it and then center that up. There we go. And now once we have the contents of everything inside of the wax seal created, I'm going to select all of it by holding Shift and clicking on it one by one. And we want to group it all together. So I will go to Layer and select Group. And I want to make this the same color of red that I used for the seal. So I'm just going to grab my dropper tool by pressing the letter I on the keyboard. And I'm just going to click on that in the center there, that little space, just to grab that color. And now we can apply the 3D effect to this as well. So let's go to the Quick Effects menu. Let's click on 3D. And you may want to use, for this size document, I think 5.2 looks pretty good, maybe a little smaller. That looks a little better. Make sure you have the opacity all the way at 100. And just to make this pop a little more, I'm going to add an outer shadow as well. So let me enable outer shadow. I want the opacity of this all the way up just to start off. And to bring, I'm going to bring the radius out a little bit as well. And then I'll bring the offset out a little bit as well. Just to give it a little more of a realistic look. Let me bring the Now I can bring the opacity down. 
and that looks pretty good right there. So now the design of the wax seal itself is finished. I'm just gonna put some finishing touches on this. Let's come over here to the layers menu and let's select everything and group it together by going to layer and selecting group. And now I'm going to apply a layer effect to the group. So I'll come down here to the layer, the layer effects, otherwise known as adjustments. And I'm going to choose shadows highlights and mine opened in my other screen, so let me grab that and pull that in here. And I'm gonna choose highlights over here, and I'm gonna bring this all the way to the right, and you can see what that does. It adds a nice highlight effect to that. And if you wanna make this pop even more, you can add a levels layer effect to it. So let me add uh, levels. And you can adjust the, the uh, black level, make that a little darker, and take the white level and bring that out a little bit. And that just helps make it pop a little more, makes, it helps define the features a little better. And the problem we have now is that it's a little too vibrant to represent an actual wax seal. So I'm gonna adjust the color using an HSL adjustment. So I'll click on the group and the adjustment I will choose now is HSL. And I'm gonna select the red option in here and I'm gonna take the saturation and bring it down just a little bit. And then I'll take the luminosity, the luminosity and bring that up a little bit. And I'll just adjust this a little more. This is all to taste, obviously. And then I can close out of this. And with that, we are finished. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Affinity Designer Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Affinity Designer, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.